man who lives at the finish line and brings you home his name, of course, the voice of Iron Man, Mike Riley. There he is. I just want to give you a big virtual hug, brother. How are you? Uh, I'm good, Michael. I, I love your smack talk. You know, I'll, I'll take it on. Don't worry about it. You'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll have your chance at me, okay? <laughs> hey, Mike, well, if you I, need man, it, I'll, I'll dedicate some miles to you, guys, you just so I'm, we can I'm take... like nervous watching this. I love this format, this relay format. It, it's like you're in the race with them, but we aren't working as hard. <laughs> so, you know, guys, over the years, you and I both have had incredible opportunities to meet fantastic people. And when I'm able to meet people like Marinda Carfrey, uh, and I remember back when, when I did, I just found out she, she's a genuine soul, very competitive with that inner fire and spirit to, to win the race, three-time Ironman world champion. But getting to know her year after year and being a Ambassador Captain with her on the Iron Man Foundation. Uh, she is a special human. Check out this interview. Hello, Miranda Carfrey. How are you? I'm great. Thanks, Mike. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fantastic. It's good to see your smiling face. Everything well? Everything's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, life is pretty good here at the O'Donnell Carfrey household. You know, through this whole crazy situation that we've been in this whole year, um, we've found a lot of silver linings. Um, and, you know, some of those are more family time, um, spending more time in Colorado. Since I've been with Tim, we've both been obviously very serious professional triathletes. And the summer times are crazy. We're traveling, we're racing, we're all over the place. We're being, you know, in, in one place for more than five, six weeks at a time. And so it's been actually really nice to, you know, stay put, um, let things slow down a little bit and, and we've got to see a little bit more Colorado and, and not to mention we, um, we have a new little one on the way. So um, yeah, we definitely have made the most of this time. That is fantastic. What like you had like 23, 24 weeks right now. Yeah. 23 weeks today, actually. So um, well past halfway. Yeah. It feels like it's gone by in a blink, but um, certainly, you know, the day to day has been a little slower than normal with the uh, lockdown. Yeah, I know. It's just, it, you know, the other, you talked about silver linings and and you, like I, are part of the Iron Man Foundation and we've committed to the Iron Aid 140.6. You, you're doing the VR series and obviously that's well documented. Uh, and it's like we need those extra little things in our lives to keep us, quote unquote, like we're, we're normal athletes or we're normal humans. Don't you find that you kind of gravitate towards that stuff more than you would have in the past? Yeah, I mean, it's really um, awesome that Iron Man Foundation have come up with a, a different, a couple of different initiatives and the Iron Aid 140.6 virtual challenge that's happening this month, um, I've signed up for. Um, obviously, Tim has signed up for as well. And yeah, I'm looking forward to taking part in that and, and yeah, just um, being a part of the Iron Man Foundation community and, um, you know, motivating other people to get out there and keep exercising, keep being active. Um, races will return at some point and, and we'll be glad for, you know, uh, opportunities like this to connect. Anything else you have on the schedule besides the Iron Aid or anything you're going to do? Yeah, Mike, I'm wondering if you will help me lead uh, one of the... Uh, um, the bike sessions on Zoom. Uh, so. uh, uh, you've got, you've even got, Riley's at a loss for words. So wait a minute, what is this now? What are we doing? <laughs> so um, throughout the the month, um, we, you and I can pick a, an hour. We can lead a Zoom ride um, that people can come and join along with. So we'll be in the transition uh, zone on Zoom. And uh, you and I can interact. People can sign up, or well, people who have signed up will have access to to us uh, and chat with us. And you know, it's just an hour hour on the trainer. If I can do it, twenty three weeks pregnant, I think you can you can do it. Oh, don't give me. me that pregnant thing. You know, I, I, I'm a little older than you, so I'm not going to be able to talk as much when I'm on that trainer for an hour. <laughs> but yeah, I I look forward to that. Let let's set it up. Have everybody come on in, and we yeah. can. Uh, you know, go work hard for 60 minutes. I love it. Yeah, well, it'll be more of a social ride. Well, take care of yourself and uh, be well. And let's set it up and we'll be together soon, an hour on the bike. And so you guys, when Marinda Carfrey says a social ride, I know my butt is going to get kicked, okay? That's just <laughs> that's just the way it is. And Didi, 
I don't know if you know this. You know why Michael always wants to smack down on me? Why he, is that, Mike? He's, he still won't forgive me for 2008 bringing him on stage when he finished 10th in Kona. And I brought him up as Patrick Lovato. I, I, I had it slipped because I talked to my brother, Patrick, you know, long, not right before the ceremony. So he won't forgive me from 2008. So I, I just don't believe that. Well, I think it's you that was trying to throw the SmackDown by doubling the 140.6 for Iron Aid on him. So uh, I think he's just fighting back a little bit. <laughs> well, I said, you're going to double. I didn't say I was going to double. So he's got to double. <laughs> Well, folks, follow along at home, because I will say probably uh, Patrick Riley here is ahead of me in his miles. And so uh, it taking time out of his busy day. I love it, man. It's so good. Thank you for sharing that interview. It's a pleasure to see you and Rennie. Um, and we will look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, we'll keep the online banter going and the funds being raised. Uh, so great stuff, Mike Riley. We'll see you soon. You got it, guys. Keep it up.